Okay, so today, instead of doing a book, we are going to have um, a very special person come up and talk to you guys about things that he feels might help motivate some of you guys into um, always doing your best. And he is actually a dad to two of our students here. Um, Milton Brown and Zania. Their dad, Mr. Brown, is here to talk to us. Can we give him a nice...
went a step beyond and we did our best. We made ourselves say, hmm, should I do this and step forward and just do it? That is a part of doing our best. Giving our best effort, making ourselves tired, making ourselves uncomfortable, giving our best effort. <coughs> Guys, I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to lend a couple of words of uh, encouragement. Uh, when I was uh, reading Tony Dungy's book, it's called The Uncommon Man. And I'm not going to go too deep into the book, even though I know you guys you normally read books at this time. I won't take you there. But in his book, he says, you must do what is required of you, and then some. So if our teacher asks us, hey, guys, we need to go home. We need to read five books for this week. I challenge you, and your parents challenge you, and your teachers challenge you to do what is required of you, and then some. Just a little bit. If you're asked to read five, push the limits and read ten. I bet you, you know, your teacher will be upset with you about that. <laughs> but guess what? If you try to read ten, and you come to class and you say, you know, I did my best and I only read eight, I guarantee you good things will come behind that. You'll get your recognition in the moment. But after that, good things are happening. Many of you want to be teachers. Many of you want to be doctors, authors, many great things. And we have to lay a great foundation now. And it's easy. It's called doing the simple things. Let's challenge ourselves a little bit more. When we wake up tomorrow morning and you just have to try a full week, give me one week of trying this. Wake up and do all the little things right. Because I'm sure some of you already do it. I want you to wake up, brush your teeth, Please brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I have students of mine that don't brush their teeth sometimes, and my goodness. Um, make up our beds. Let's be ready for the morning. Have our book bag ready. All the simple little things. Let's try making our beds, brushing our teeth, washing our face without anybody having to say anything to us in the morning. And let's just see what happens. But I think you'll have a more productive morning, which will set you up for a more productive day. And if we do these little things over and over and over every day, after a while we have a month of great results, a few months of great results, and then we're going on to the next grade. And all of our teachers that we had can only say great things about us. Oh my goodness, Anthony just listens so well. Gracie just does everything I ask her to do. And I don't even have to ask her to do it. And you know what your next teacher will say? Hmm, I know I'm getting a good student. And she'll be ready to greet you, and maybe you might be nervous that next year, but you'll be in a good spot because of what you have already done. Now, guys, I'm going to leave with one more thing. I play college football, and when I play my college football coach every Friday evening, we had our meal together, and every Saturday morning before we played, he read one piece. And it's from an unknown author, so I can't give credit to him, but it's not mine. But I want to share it with you guys. Today is the beginning of a new day. I have been given this day to use as I wish. I can waste it, or I can use it. It can be a day long remembered for its joys, its beauties, and its achievements. Or it can be filled with pettiness, nastiness. Today is important because I'm exchanging the day of my life for it. Tomorrow comes, and this day will be gone forever. But I shall not regret the price in which I paid for. I want it to be of gain, not loss, good, not evil, success, and not failure. Carlton students, you are very popular in the community. You have banners around you, you may not even know in the conversation. When somebody hears that you go to Carlton, you go to Carlton, a smile comes behind that with a lot of pride. I want you to move forth, and I want you to move in a way that is full of excitement and full of the will to learn, a lot of effort, and always giving your best. So on three, I just want everybody as loud as you can, one time, let's not go crazy, but one time I want to hear my best. So on three, one, two, three. <laughs>